I remember the first events of Art Basel, the first year, how quaint and small everything was. And I think nobody really understood what Art Basel uh, meant, including myself. Um, it was, you know, just an art fair. Uh, but we soon realized that, uh, that, this, that, that these were ramifications well beyond the, the fair in itself. And I think I can safely say, uh, and many people in Miami will agree with me, that it has changed the landscape. It has changed the la landscape of Miami in terms of art, architecture, uh, from the outside in. But also, I think we as Miamians have gained from the experience uh, of Art Basel and been able to mature very much um, uh, in terms of art and architecture and expectations of culture. Well, for those who fly in, and, uh, and, and again, it's a very layered experience, so depending what is the purpose of which, by which you're flying in, but um, I think it, it's probably a very bizarre thing, you know, if you land in Miami and uh, you're shuttled to this convention center and you're exposed to this art for a short period of time and then you go to a couple of events and then you fly back. That, that's one layer. There's the other group of people that take this as an excuse uh, to party and there are a lot of college grads and young kids uh, that, that actually come to Miami to have a good time during that weekend because they're so, and, and, and having a good time, I would say, surrounded by art, which is quite special. It's not that you're coming to Miami to have a good time at the beach, for example. I'm speaking from the inside out in that sense, being somebody from Miami, um, and I sometimes wonder uh, how much um, do these visitors get to understand the city per se, uh, especially if you if you if you just come for a day or two, but it's a little bit like going to Disney, you know, and 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 that's great. I think Miami has matured a lot through Art Basel. If you think about in my profession in architecture, uh, if you make a reading of architecture of the last. 30 years, you'll see that our architecture was very provincial. So that has changed because through Art Basel, the exposure that this has brought to Miami as a city and bringing a lot of these people to talk in Art Basel or participate of the event have brought in attention to the city and then these architects have got, and designers have been now involved in shaping the city that as we know it today. So, you know, we have buildings by Frank Gehry, uh, the New World Symphony, um, uh, Norman Foster is doing a fantastic project now, uh, which is a hotel. Um, actually, I completed a school of architecture with my former dean from Columbia University, Bernard Schumi, which was a connection thanks to Columbia that we were able to bring him to Miami and do this fantastic project together. And if you look at the map of architecture in Miami, now you have the best and the brightest working in that city. And it's actually a very hot place to be. Uh, the fact that we local architects are interacting and exposed with this international level uh, puts us in a situation where we are, are competing with them, so we have to be better. And, uh, and, and that permeates, I think, the arts, and that's very good, I think.